In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the reverse fly exercise. You can do this with dumbbells. You can also do it on machines. You can do it on the cables, and there's also the fly machine. I'm going to show you how to do it with dumbbells. I'm also going to demonstrate really quickly how you can use a bench to do it as well. Uh, but this is going to be the bent over way to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off knees slightly bent. You're going to bend at the hips, and you want to create a 90 degree angle between your hips and the and your uh, lower legs. You're going to grab the weights, hold them right in front of you, uh, right about here, elbows slightly flexed, and then all you're going to do is you're going to abduct horizontally until the weights are about even with your shoulders, and then you're going to adduct, A-D-D-U-C-T, adduct, until the weights come back down. So abduction right here, adduction. Now, if you want to do this exercise on the bench, um, what you can do is you want the bench laying down, you want to create a little bit of an incline, or you can do it all the way down, and you're going to lay your chest on the bench, and you're going to grab the weights. What this is going to, what this is going to do is it's going to provide extra stability. Uh, there's a trade-off. You're going to get more stability, so you're going to be able to focus on your, on your back and, and shoulders a little bit more but you're going to have less core activation. So um, depending on what your goals are and what you're doing with your client, you got to make a decision on how you want to do this exercise. And you can switch it up as well. So when you're doing it on the bench, same movement. The bench is just creating a little bit of stability for you. 